Welcome to Jeffro's Game Room, and today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. It's uh, an unboxing video of a PlayStation 2 DVD remote. I got this at my uh, local game store. Uh, the place is called The Basement. They're in the back of a bar called The Geekery. They also hold tournaments uh, for video games and stuff. Uh, I just mainly go there for, you know, the great deals they, they have. Um, but anyway... I thought I would uh, share this particular uh, great deal with you guys, uh, and I hope you enjoy the video. If so, uh, just drop a like and subscribe. I'll be adding more videos to my channel in the near future, so hope you guys enjoy. As you can see here, we have a manual, pretty extensive manual as a result of the many languages across the world. And an install disk for certain models of the PlayStation 2. This is required of some of the earlier models you have to install. Uh, I believe it is two megabytes of data onto your memory card in order for the DVD uh, remote to work. But I have the Slim, which actually has uh, a built-in IR sensor, so I don't actually need the little uh, IR sensor block. Had a bit of an issue uh, getting that out of there, it's in there pretty tight. It's always nice to get old new things. Believe it or not, these batteries actually work. Uh, they've been in that package for, I would assume, over a decade. And, uh,. No issues with the battery whatsoever. There's the IR sensor block. Um, like I said, I don't need this for my... Uh, my PS2 Slim. I do have a fat PS2. Uh, I'm not sure. Oh yeah, actually, it would it would be required because it doesn't have the built-in IR sensor. Um, but I'm not sure if my model would require me to install uh, the data onto the memory card. Um, but I did find a purpose for this, uh, and you'll see that later on in the video. So there's everything, the, uh, the sensor block, the remote, the manual, and the install disk. I'll just go ahead and uh, give you guys a little demonstration. Pull out a movie. Not the greatest movie. It's actually pretty shitty.
you might actually notice my Vita is on. I'm actually using that to monitor my recording using the remote play on the PS4. Everything's working nicely. Like I said, not the greatest of movies. But I thought it was relevant. Movie based on a video game. Unfortunately, most of them are all bad. And earlier I mentioned I, uh, I found a use for the sensor block. Um, I found out that it actually works on the PS1. Um, and I use it for the, for the CD player, as you can see here. And it works great. Um, the actual play, pause buttons don't work, but all of the actual PlayStation buttons, uh, like you know, triangle, square, circle X, uh, directional buttons, and... Uh, R1, R2, L1, L2, you know, start, select, all those, um, which allows you to operate the all the functions just fine. Never actually expected this to work, um, but glad to see it does. It's a nice little added feature. Anyway, guys coming up to the end of the video I hope you guys enjoyed watching like I said earlier in the video if you like it give it a like subscribe keep coming back for more videos and uh, hopefully I, you guys enjoyed it